Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, second vlog. Um, in the first vlog I, I spoke about um, getting to know who you want to be or what you want to do or how you want to portray yourself when you're doing magic. Um, this is like a follow-on uh, to that. And this is about basic handling of the deck. When I say that, I don't mean moves. But I mean, sometimes things are overhandled. The deck is overhandled. So this comes down to finding your style and finding who you want to be, as we discussed before. And what you will find is people that do a lot of the cardistry. Uh, they're spinning deck, and they're all over the place, and they're jumping, and it's fantastic to watch. But I think if you're doing that as part of a presentation, um, an initial presentation, then you're showing skill. And I've always been taught that skill should be hidden. And that was from Roy Walton, as I said before, and John Ramsey said skill should be hidden. You shouldn't see any skill. Then that makes the effect of magic more apparent of what's happened. This is, it's got to be magic. So you're trying to strengthen that. You're not trying to take that away by exhibiting your skill. So, um, that comes down to your style again and what you want to do. Also comes down to overhandling the pack. And that's what I was talking about, about basically overhandling the pack. Pick, people picking the cards up, spinning cards all over the place. The cards are flipped all over and then everything else. So it also comes down to moves like um, Browie additions and secret subtractions and Atfis and all of these things where there's the switches of cards are happening on top of the deck because you turn these over, you've got a break here, you lift this up and you flip these. Let me introduce you to these four aces. Now you've just showed the aces and then you, you do this, you turn these down and you deal these out and, you know, you've switched one of the cards out. Fine. Nothing wrong with the move at the right time and not used all of the time because, I've, I mean, I watch guys doing effects all the time and they constantly are doing some sort of switch out on top of the deck. That is their method. Nothing wrong with that method now and again, but not repeatedly all the time for a lot of the tricks that they do. So rather than that, what would you do? You would do maybe a bottom deal or four bottom deals or whatever. You've got to find another way of handling the deck. You do not want to overhandle the pack. I was given a great, great compliment uh, from Roy Walton uh, a while ago. Well, probably last year, I think it was, or a couple of years ago. <clears throat> I'd sent him uh, some downloads that um, that I produce with, along with Jack Talbot. Um, and Jack produces all the downloads and does a fantastic job. So I sent a couple of downloads to Roy Walton asking for some sort of comment and he came back and I spoke to him in the shop and he said to me Eddie nothing looks movie meaning it doesn't look as if I'm doing lots of moves um, so that's that's another goal that, that I had I don't want to look as if I'm uh, constantly uh, maneuvering the deck constantly have the deck in my hands if you watch if you've got any of the downloads you'll, you'll find I've got to say that the downloads are, are concentrated for certain uh, techniques, maybe riffle shuffle work. But if you watch this, so if I take the deck and shuffle these up, okay, square these and then cut them, and you leave, now my hands are off the deck, okay, and they're, and they're a mess, it's fine. So now I pick these up and I square them up. That, for me, is better than this kind of thing, and then you square up here, and then your hands are over here, and then you do this, and then you do that. That is, you're overhand, it doesn't, you know, you should be shuffling the cards here. You look when you shuffle, that's fine. And then you can cut this way. And your hands, you'll see things are at the fingertips and all the time. And this is down to not want to handle the cards too much. Now the hands are off the deck. Now the cards are squared up. The hands are off the deck again. And this comes down to something that Gordon Bruce taught uh, taught me and spoke to me about and that is economy of motion you know he, he, he spoke to me about 
shuffling cards, just shuffling cards for an instance. Um, I generally split in the centre, and that's that's where I'm where I'm at. Okay. Some people shuffle from the ends like this. Some people shuffle from this end and then this end. But what they generally do is they split the deck like this and then do this and do that. Gordon said to me, why don't you just pick the deck up from this end and go straight to this end? That is economy of motion. You're, you're, you're using your head a little bit so that you don't want to go here, 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 and then you're shuffling. You just go straight into the shuffle from here. Okay? So that's a, a little tip from Gordon Bruce. Economy of motion if you can. So this, when I do this, and I push these in, and then I square and cut these, that's it. And hands are off the deck. So you don't want to look too movie. You want to try and make it look as if you're not doing lots of moves. And that's why I kind of stay away from the cardistry thing. It's fine. A lot of the younger guys are into it. And that's fine. But I wouldn't use that if I was going to perform all the time, spinning cards, everything else. Because people use that as an excuse for the method. That's the method. The method is, look at that. It's just very fancy. He can do whatever he likes. Magic really should look as if you're not doing a lot and things are happening. So that's why, you know, you'll, you'll tend to see me trying to get, get my hands off the deck. Same with the cuts, you know, th this kind of cut here, this this cut. Hands are off the deck now, you see this hands have disappeared, and that's it. And I break that up. I'll break up the rhythm, it's not, the, the, the rhythm is normally this. Okay, three cuts, this kind of rhythm. I've broken the rhythm up, because here, and then I square here. Then I slap here, now I square that end, and then I cut. I'm breaking that rhythm up. Hands are off the deck. So it looks less like your hands are, if you're doing this, look at your hands. They're never away from the deck. Sorry about that. You know, your hands are never off the deck. Never. Here. Watch this. The hands here are square. Fingertips, square. Hands off the deck. That for me just looks ten times better. So... The idea is find out, again, who you are, what you want to do, find out slights that you can use. Change the timing of the slights. Try not to look at, make it look as if you're doing lots of moves. It's like this, the secret subtraction, the atfis, because, you know, if you're dealing four cards off the top of the deck, you would deal them off the top of the deck. Why, why would you take cards, let me introduce you to these, turn them over, turn this over like this, and then turn that over and then deal the four cards out. That's not, you wouldn't do that. You would just say, let me show you these cards, and you would deal them out. Or let me show you these cards, you deal them out, like this. So, find, what I'm saying is, try not use the same method all the time. And try and make it look as if you're not overhandling the deck too much. And that was always my goal, and that was because of Roy saying, skill should be hidden, and then economy of motion was something that, that Gordon Bruce um, spoke to me about. Okay, anything you really want to discuss or if I can uh, you know, put something together for, for, for you guys, let me know. But um, thank you for listening and uh, I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.